dear students uh, previous lecture the problem which was incomplete uh, we studied up to here that is complementary function for this given differential equation that is d square plus 4 y is equal to cos of 2x now uh, we have come up to complementary function solution now we will try for the particular integral where uh, general solution includes the second solution which is uh, responsible for the rhs of the problem okay this is c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x is there now what is the particular integral in this example particular integral is yp let yp we consider uh, that is equal to that is equal to 1 divided by it is d square plus 4 and uh, operating on cos of it is 2x that is inverse differential operator which is to be operated for the right side term that is cos of 2x by shifting that lhs uh, differential form to the denominator on the right side that is uh, we named it as uh, inverse differential operator when you take that function to the numerator but as it is it is 1 divided by f of d which is operating on that is cos of uh, cos of 2x now what is the condition here according to the K, uh, rule number 3 you have to replace d square by minus of a square so d square by minus of a square provided that denominator is not leading to zero what is that here so this can be taken as cos of ax plus b here cos of ax plus b this can be taken inside the bracket ax plus b which indicates a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 0 so you can compare uh, the theoretical uh, assumption uh, with the constants that is a equal to something and b is equal to something which has to be substituted here in place of uh, that is d square okay so now what we have to do according to the uh, uh, guidelines of this uh, second rule we have to replace we have to replace d square by minus of it is a square d square by minus of a square provided that means i will write if and only if 1 by that is minus a square and plus 4 is not equal to 1 divided by 0 that is means the functional value in the denominator should not be leading to 0 we will check that that is yp is equal to here a is equal to 2 you have to write this is 1 divided by minus 2 square you don't write uh, because here i give the uh, caution to you that means uh, a very very important note uh, to all of you here don't write this as uh, replacement of uh, uh, d square by minus uh, 2 whole square it is not whole square d square by minus of 2 square that's why i am writing in the brackets so do not write this as minus 2 whole square this is wrong okay don't write like that because we have seen uh, uh, by mistake uh, these uh, things will happen so that should not happen you must uh, clearly uh, write minus outside that is uh, uh, here a square of course in this case a is equal to 2 i have written minus of a square so minus is multiplied for second degree of the constant a whatever you take so that is the total replacement for the function uh, for the term that is d square okay so minus 2 square plus 4 uh, operating on cos x that is cos 2x operating on cos 2x now how it looks that is yp is equal to 1 divided by minus 4 plus 4 correct ah huh? 1 divided by minus 4 plus 4 operating on cos of it is 2x then this is equal to 1 by 0 operating on it is cos of that is 2x that means 100% this is a case of failure <coughs> you can write this is this is the case of failure this is the case of failure why it is the case of failure because 
uh, whenever you get on replacement the functional value becomes zero then we claim that that is the case of failure uh, why it is the, why it is the case of failure can you understand can you uh, identify why this is the case of failure can you understand why we should write it is the case of failure because 1 by 0 means infinity 1 by 0 is infinity but our uh, uh, target is not to find the uh, infinity as a number we have to find the finite number so for to uh, identify the finite number then the procedure says you have to proceed and take the differentiation and then replace again once again uh, in that way okay so then we will take that as uh, case of failure as uh, to be continued okay so then yp is equal to x into 1 divided by <coughs> 1 divided by d square means 2d this becomes 1 divided by uh, d square uh, integration is 2d right so this must be operating on cos of it is 2x correct huh? so yp is equal to once differentiation if you take then put put that x outside put that x outside means that is through the theory uh, which we are not uh, discussing in detail about uh, the theoretical concept how we got x and how we are getting next is x square next is x cube and so on but according to the guidelines x is to be multiplied when once you write the differentiation of this d square as 2d okay then so here x by 2 we can keep outside and then this is 1 by d and cos of this is 2x and then it is particular integral remember the inverse of differential operator with uh, first degree is nothing but integral of the function otherwise otherwise you can write like this d by d <coughs> this is another method this is one method what it is x by 2 this is integral of cos of it is 2x dx because single uh, uh, integration is responsible this 1 by d means is, it is nothing but uh, integral primitive integral primitive that is nothing but integral of cos 2x dx so what is the answer x by 2 into sin 2x divided by 2 plus of constant but here constant will not be there because particular integral we are taking in the particular integral means right side is not a arbitrary constant but it is a particular constant therefore we call it as a particular solution this is one thing okay then uh, the general solution what we are claiming for this problem the general solution is this one yc uh, that is y general solution is y yc plus it is yp what is that yc c1 cos 2x plus of c2 sin 2x and the particular integral plus x by 2 this one and uh, it becomes 4 because 2 into 2 that becomes 4 and then sin of it is 2x so this is called general solution and this is the final solution for this problem this is the, this is the first case we are taking uh, on the application of trigonometric function on the right side that is cos of uh, trigonometric function so like this uh, another few examples i will consider on this application that is uh, for the trigonometric function okay the next problem is like this same type uh, trigonometric function that is a uh, uh, right side it will be like uh, uh, it will be like uh, either cos or sine function in terms of ax plus b okay the next one is like this solve that is d cube plus 1 operating on y is equal to cos of 2x minus 1 this is another uh, interesting problem maybe uh, some uh, importance is there in this problem because third order derivative it is that means uh, uh, you will get third degree equation for uh, auxiliary equation to find out the roots that is one requirement and another requirement is uh, you have to operate uh, as 
inverse differential operator to bring it in the denominator as third order derivative only. Solution let y is equal to yc plus yp. This is the compulsory step that you have to write. This is general solution uh, equal to gs if you write. Now, let us discuss for yc, uh, yc that means complementary function. Complementary function means ae that means auxiliary equation mq plus 1 is equal to 0. mq plus 1 equal to 0 means that should be uh, indicating three, diff uh, three roots. What kind of roots? Those roots we are going to identify by trial and verification method. Trial and verification method means this calculation should become 0. Then only we can uh, verify LHS equal to RHS. Okay. So, mq plus 1 is equal to 0 means let m is equal to directly you can make out minus 1 because you need not to go for number of trials. Only two terms are there, one is plus 1 and the other one is if you get minus 1 then only it becomes 0. Directly I am substituting because minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 only implies minus 1 whole cube plus 1 equal to 0 and this is minus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 0, then this is equal to 0. Therefore, it satisfies. Therefore, uh, m is equal to 1 minus 1 means m plus 1 equal to 0 is 1 factor. Is 1 factor. So, now you have to do that. Another uh, uh, factor you have to calculate. Another factor is through division by this factor which you identified and then you work out what are the values of m you are getting from the next part of that. That means next part means uh, after the division making remainder as 0, then what are the roots you are going to uh, establish uh, from those roots you have to write the complementary function. Still we are not, we are not clear about the com uh, complementary function unless we identify what type of roots we are going to obtain from this m cube plus 1 is equal to 0. We will verify now that is that is uh, m plus 1 is equal to 0 uh, is one factor then we will write the division m plus 1 to be divided for m cube uh, plus 1 therefore m square you have to write that is m cube plus m square okay then this becomes on subtraction this cancels uh, that becomes uh, 1 minus m square right 1 minus m square then minus m you have to write this one because you must get minus m square only minus m square is the first term right uh, you have to get it and then then what that is minus of m right so minus of m square means on subtraction this cancels and 1 plus m 1 plus m means plus 1 you have to write that is 1 plus m then your remainder is 0. If you do not get remainder is 0, then division is wrong. You have to get remainder as 0, then only your division is complete. Therefore, this indicates m plus 1 into m square minus m plus 1, m square minus m plus 1 equal to 0. That gives m is equal to minus 1 and uh, m is equal to this is by algebraic method you have to go for it what is that algebraic method minus 1 that becomes plus 1 minus b means plus 1 plus plus or minus root of b square that is 1 b square means minus 1 whole square minus 4 into 1 okay that is divided by 2 into 1 what is the value of m then this is 1 by 2 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 what is that 1 minus 4 is what um, min 1 minus 4 is minus 3 therefore minus 3 means um, that is i into root 3 divided by this denominator correct huh? divided by this denominator that is 1 by 2 plus or minus i into root 3 divided by 2 that is the value of m therefore m is equal to minus 1 one term and uh, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 uh, that is 1 by 2 here 
and plus or minus i into root 3 divided by 2. So, one root is real and the other uh, pair of numbers it is called imaginary roots. Therefore, the complementary function y c is equal to c1 e to the power minus of x plus c2 that is uh, e to the power half into x and cos of root 3 divided by 2 into x and uh, plus of c3 e to the power half into x and uh, sin of it is root 3 divided by 2 into x is the complementary function. This is the complementary function means solution uh, which represents for the uh, LHS of the given problem. LHS of the given problem is this much dq plus 1 operating on y is equal to something. Now, we will try for a particular integral let yp that is equal to this much 1 divided by it is dq plus 1 operating on cos of it is 2x and minus 1 cos of 2x minus 1. Therefore, here a is equal to 2 that a is equal to 2 then you have you can uh, uh, split this one as d into d square because you have to replace not for d but you have to replace for d square. Therefore, d cube means easily you can make out 1 divided by d into d square and plus of 1 d into d square you can get get it back as d cube then this is to be operated on cos 2x minus 1 therefore replace here replacing d square by minus of a square what is that minus of a square minus of it is 2 square therefore this yp takes the value 1 divided by d into minus 2 square minus 2 square and plus 1 operating on cos of 2x and minus 1 correct huh? cos of 2x minus 1 this is uh, cos of the angle then so yp that is equal to minus 2 square means minus 4 1 divided by minus 4d and it is plus 1 minus 4d and plus 1 this is cos of cos of 2x uh, minus 1. Now, how to proceed next because d to the power first degree we got d to the power first degree we got means uh, was it 1 by d we would have taken the integration but it is not 1 by d but it is a 4 uh, along with that one more additional term is there that you can't directly for the integral symbol therefore you have to rationalize you have to rationalize means multiply and divide by some term where denominator can be avoided that is all let us try in that way that is 1 divided by this is uh, minus 4d plus 1 in the opposite form that is 4d minus 1 4d uh, minus 1 in the denominator multiply and divide by 4d minus 1 operating on it is cos of it is 2x cos of 2x minus 1 ok then this becomes 4d minus 1 in the numerator as it is but denominator uh, this is just like uh, a minus b and a plus b correct huh? so 4d um, uh, 4d minus 1 1 minus 4d uh, becomes as 1 minus 4d otherwise minus sign also you would have taken outside that means uh, b square a square minus b square so this becomes a uh, 4d square like uh, uh, other, otherwise minus also you would have taken outside okay let me try minus this becomes you can write minus sign here outside this minus 4d minus 1 okay then if you write 4d minus 1 means 4d plus 1 4d plus 1 and here 4d minus 1 outside this is minus 1. So, 4d plus 1 in the numerator and 4d minus 1 4d plus 1 that is 4 square d square and minus 1 square leaving the sign outside minus then it is cos of 2x minus 1. Any arrangement you can do this is one option I am giving 
one uh, possibility of uh, taking the term in the form of uh, in the form of uh, uh, some convenient term where we can represent uh, this d square uh, for uh, replacement that means d square by minus a square so what is that then what you have to do uh, this becomes a replacement of d square by 2 uh, replace replace uh, the d square by minus a square that is equal to minus 2 square let us verify now how this works this is yc then yp this is equal to yp this is equal to 4d plus 1 you write as it is 4d plus 1 and minus 4 square means 16 into d square that is minus of 2 square that means into minus 4 correct huh? minus 4 and minus 1 this much to be operated on it is cos of 2x minus 1 this is equal to 4d plus 1 divided by divided by uh, minus of this is 16 into 4 64 minus and this is 65 with minus that is cos of it is 2x operated with this 4d plus 1 so therefore minus minus plus it is 1 by 65 into 1 by 65 into that is uh, 4d 4d plus 1 it is to be operated on cos 2x minus 1 cos 2x minus 1 okay then what the next term you have to write 4d means differentiation and 1 means it is simply multiplication this is equal to 4 I am taking by 65 d operates on this do not uh, multiply d operates on this means what this is uh, cos of 2x minus 1 that means differentiation that is 2 times of sine into 2x minus 1 2 times of sine that is with uh, minus sign because cos differentiation is minus then you are going to write leaving this uh, 2 outside along with minus sign okay this is 4 by 65 4 I am taking outside and the d is operating on this function that gives us minus 2 cos it becomes sine and then leaving this coefficient outside this is one term and second term plus of plus of 1 by 65 1 by 65 1 into this much that is cos of 2x minus 1 this is for a complete uh, application of this inverse differential operator that is 4 divided by 65 means 4 to 8 we can write along with uh, that one as minus 8 4 to 8 divided by 65 sine 2x minus 1 first term and this becomes plus of 1 by 65 cos it is 2x minus 1 therefore this is called yp therefore general solution is a combination of yc plus yp this is c1 e to the power x uh, e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power 1 by 2x and cos of root 3 cos of root 3 by 2 x and plus c3 e to the power 1 by 2 x and sine of it is root 3 by 2 x by 2 x plus these two terms plus of plus of it is minus 8 by 65 8 by 65 it is sine it is 2 x minus 1 and plus 1 by 65 this is cos it is 2 x minus 1 ok this is the complete solution of the given problem where the right side term is uh, cosine trigonometric function similarly another uh, example I will be taking this 
this is for uh, dq plus 1 okay so dq plus 1 uh, where it uh, takes the third degree uh, auxiliary equation but third order derivative third order differential equation gives third degree uh, auxiliary equation so that you must expect three constants c1 c2 c3 and three roots these are the three roots which you got it now i'll go to another uh, type of example where the exponential term is also there and uh, uh, sin uh, trigonometric function okay solve solve d cube and uh, this is d cube y divided by dx cube plus 4 into dy by dx uh, equal to sin 2x plus e to the power e to the power 2x this is a combination of exponential and uh, sine trigonometric function but left side it is a uh, third dig uh, third order derivative and uh, first order derivative is a combination okay so this problem you can reduce to the convenient form but now it is uh, in the form of uh, summation of two derivatives in the left side and right side summation of two different terms one is trigonometric and the other one is exponential okay in the solution let us take like this let this becomes d cube divided by dx cube and uh, plus of 4 into d divided by dx okay operating on y is equal to sin 2x sin 2x plus of e to the power 2x now introducing d is equal to d divided by it is dx so introducing d, d is equal to means linear differential operator linear differential operator means it's a symbol it's a notation right then uh, according to this order of the derivative what you have to take that is third order derivative d cube plus 4d which is operating on y is equal to sin 2x and plus of e to the power 2x this is according to your convenient form then you need to write the general solution as it is defined in the form of standard uh, notations that is f of d y is equal to x of x which is not equal to 0 right it is a non homogeneous uh, non homogeneous and uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay so defined define uh, that is uh, y is equal to yc plus yp as general solution right general solution then for complementary function that is yc what you have to do auxiliary equation you have to define auxiliary equation means what this is m, m cube plus 4m is equal to 0 replacing d by m f of d is equal to m that means f of m that is equal to 0 replacing d by m why we have to replace that uh, d by m because d is a derivative and m is a number it's a constant now m is common you can write it as m square plus 4 equal to 0. So, m is equal to 0 and m square is equal to minus 4 and m is equal to plus or minus it is 2i because square root of minus 4 is square root of 4 is 2 square root of minus 1 is uh, i. Therefore, you have totally three different values uh, implies m is equal to 0 comma 0 plus or minus it is 2i here alpha equal to 0 and beta is equal to 2 
when you compare this with alpha plus or minus it is i beta okay this part therefore complementary function that is yc should be first number is 0 that is c1 e to the power 0x plus c2 e to the power 0x cos of uh, this is uh, how much it is 2x and plus of c3 e to the power 0x and sin of it is 2x then this is equal to c1 e to the power 0x is 1 and uh, plus of uh, c2 it is cos of 2x plus of c3 it is sin of it is 2x therefore this is for complementary function so complementary function is containing three different constants c1 c2 c3 uh, c1 for m equal to 0 and c2 for m is equal to first uh, uh, number and second number is that is for c3 therefore three uh, third order derivative three constants uh, should be there now after writing this complementary function now we have to go for particular integral let particular integral is what let yp is equal to this should be in the denominator that is 1 divided by it is d cube plus of 4d d cube plus 4d right d cube plus 4d operating on what operating on uh, this is sin 2x plus exponential term plus of e to the power it is 2x okay then yp yp is equal to <coughs> 1 by it is d, uh, d into d square i will write in place of uh, d cube and plus 4d plus 4d which operates on this is sine of it is 2x sine of 2x what else uh, i have to write plus of plus of 1 divided by it is d cube plus 4d d cube plus 4d which operates on e to the power it is 2x okay so now uh, you have two types of uh, applications one application is trigonometric function another application is previous rule that is rule number one that means exponential term and trigonometric function so first of all we will uh, 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 write the solution with uh, respect to the trigonometric function here in the first one replacing replacing d square because i have written this d cube this one as d into d square replacing d square by this number that is uh, what it is replacing d square by minus of it is here also a is 2 this is a equal to 2 then minus of 2 square if and only if uh, that is uh, d square if and only if denominator of rhs first term rhs first term is not zero that means this is our condition that should not become zero after the replacement of d square by minus of 2 square minus of 2 square means you will get minus 4 therefore uh, yp yp is equal to 1 divided by d correct huh? d into minus 2 square that is minus 4 right d into minus 4 this must be multiplied and plus of 4d plus of 4d uh, that is minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 and plus of 4d operating on this is sin 2x correct huh? and here d is equal to a a is equal to 2 plus of 1 divided by here 2 cube plus of 4 into 2 operating on e to the power 2x this is equal to 1 divided by minus 4d 
minus 4 into d and plus 4 d this is operating on sin of 2 x <coughs> plus of 1 divided by 2 cube means 8 2 into 2 into 2 4 into 2 is 8 4 to 0 8 this is 16 e to the power 2 x but this becomes 0 this becomes 0 that is sin of 2 x sin of 2 x when you replace this d square by minus 4 minus 2 square that becomes 0 plus of e to the power 2 x by 16 100 percent this is a case of failure case of failure that means further investigation is required further investigation is through the differentiation of that uh, derivative part and then multiply x outside the bracket okay this is for yp then what you have to do yp you have to take first term as x on the right side and then this should be 1 divided by whatever it is d is there here this is d cube you must uh, differentiate 3 times d square and plus of 4 to be operated on sin of 2x to be operated on sin of 2x correct huh? uh, this is the term and then uh, already another term is operated that is plus of e to the power 2x by 16. Now, you have to go for that again. Uh, what is the simplification here? What is the simplification? x into x into 1 divided by <coughs> uh, this is uh, 3 into d square uh, differentiation. Now, you have to replace d square by minus 2 square. So, 3 into minus of it is 2 square plus of 4 provided this denominator is not equal to 0. Once again, we claim sin 2x and plus e to the power 2x divided by it is 16. What is the term? That is finally, after, simplif after the simplification is over, yp is equal to, that should be uh, minus 4 into 3, that is minus 12. This becomes plus 4. So, minus of 8. Simplification is minus 8 multiplied by sin 2x and uh, plus of e to the power 2x divided by 16. So, this is your particular integral. Therefore, general solution y, general solution y is y is equal to c1 plus c2 cos 2x this solution plus of c3 sin 2x and minus of 1 by 8 this one sin 2x and plus of e to the power 2x divided by it is 16. This is the complete solution of the problem as a general solution. Still it is not the particular solution. It is also the general solution that we have to understand because in the presence of arbitrary constants. Similarly, another uh, example also I will be taking in this uh, uh, situation. This is uh, uh, d cube plus 1 that means third order derivative and uh, third order differential equation which is extended part in the uh, on the application of uh, right side terms uh, with uh, uh, trigonometric functions as sine as well as cos as well as exponential term as well as log function as well as independent constant term. So, now I shall uh, take the last example in this case before going to the next uh, discussion that is on polynomial terms. Now, I shall take all the terms are present here that is constant, exponential and trigonometric function. All the four terms are present in this case. Such problem is the next one. This will be the last one and other problems I can give as examples. Some general problems I can give as examples. This is example which we can consider it as uh, y double dash uh, sorry y uh, triple dash plus y uh, is equal to 
साइन थ्री एक्स साइन थ्री एक्स प्लस ऑफ साइन थ्री एक्स प्लस ऑफ ई टू द पावर माइनस एक्स एंड प्लस ऑफ टू टाइम्स लॉक थ्री टू टाइम्स लॉक थ्री इट इज गिवन सो ऑल द थ्री टर्म्स आर गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ समेशन दैट इज वन इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक सेकेंड वन इज एक्सपोनशियल एंड थर्ड वन इज कॉन्स्टेंट विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस केस दैट मीन्स अंडर द रूल वन वी हैड टेकन ओनली द एक्सपोनशियल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म but after studying this sin function and cos function and how this inverse differential operator is going to operate on the right side as uh, x of x is not equal to 0 let us see how this solution behaves that is uh, y triple dash means you can write d cube y divided by it is dx cube and plus y is equal to sin 3x plus e to the power minus x plus 2 times it is log of 3 so this log of 3 you can write totally that is log 2 q log 3 square okay but instead of that they are given like that only you can also write uh, the decimal value of that log of 3 whole to the power 2 that becomes log 9 okay but let us keep that value as it is so what is this in the standard form that is dq plus 1 into uh, sorry operating on y is equal to sin 3x correct huh? first term second term is e to the power minus x and plus of this is 2 times log 3 multiplied by e to the power 0 into x okay so here uh, this is a, a combination as a general solution define general solution that means y as a general solution combination of complementary function plus particular integral y is equal to yc plus yp therefore y is equal to yc plus yp means for the complementary function uh, yc we will take this auxiliary equation auxiliary equation means m cube plus 1 equal to 0 for for m equal to because directly we cannot write the factors you have to go for the division m equal to minus 1 m equal to minus 1 the equation satisfies minus 1 whole cube plus 1 equal to 0 that is equal to 0 so this becomes m plus 1 equal to 0 is one factor is one factor so now you have to go for division how this uh, division gives one more factor as linear factor and then one more is quadratic factor so product of these two factors linear factor and quadratic factor uh, these two factors how they behave in giving the roots of the equation that is m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to another uh, two values okay so m plus 1 to be divided for this is m cube m cube plus 1 therefore m square you are going to write m cube plus m square right so this becomes uh, what value this cancels and then 1 minus m square minus m square plus 1 so minus m you can write minus m square and minus m <coughs> this becomes m plus 1 and this is plus 1 and then m plus 1 1 one is multiplied to this so you are getting remainder as 0 your ultimate goal should be you must get the remainder as 0 here after the division process is over then your division process is completed okay then what are the factors then this has to be taken as m plus 1 into m square minus m plus 1 equal to 0 therefore m is equal to 1 and m is equal to minus b that means plus 1 plus or minus b square that is uh, minus uh, 1 whole square 1 minus 4 this is divided by 2 this is 1 by 2 plus or minus root 3 i divided by 2 this is m is equal to so total number of uh, roots you will find one is 
real number and the another uh, pair of numbers you are getting as imaginary values. Therefore, complementary function yc is equal to c1 <coughs> e to the power x uh, for 1 and plus of c2 e to the power half into x and uh, cos of uh, root 3 by 2 into x okay, plus of c3 e to the power 1 by 2 x uh, into sin that is root 3 divided by 2 into x you have to write sin of root 3 by 2 into x. So, this is your uh, complementary function. So, now you have to find out particular integral. Let y p let y p is equal to so d q plus 1 should be brought to the denominator that is 1 by it is d q plus 1 to be operated on these three terms that is sin 3 x ok and then uh, plus e to the power minus x and uh, 2 times log 3 e to the power 0 into x. So, this much all the three one is trigonometric function another one is exponential and one more is also exponential with uh, a equal to 0 then this is d square here a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 in this case and a is equal to 1 uh, that is minus 1 with minus sign and a is equal to 0 in this case right a is equal to 0 there are three terms that you have to discuss here this d cube can be written as for this one as y p in terms of uh, d and d square 1 divided by that is uh, d and d square plus 1 because you have to replace d square by minus 3 square to be operated on this is sin of 3x and uh, directly I am writing this one uh, uh, when m is equal to that means a is equal to minus 1 ok plus 1 divided by <coughs> dq plus 1 operating on e to the power minus x plus of plus of that is 2 times plus of 2 times log 3 <coughs> 2 times log 3 uh, uh, then 1 divided by dq plus 1 e to the power 0 into x so this much is there now 1 by 1 you apply uh, if it becomes 0 then you change it that is d square you are going to replace that as minus 3 square minus 9 1 divided by minus 9 d plus 1 this is sin 3x sin 3x and here minus 1 this is plus of 1 divided by minus 1 plus 1 this is e to the power minus x and plus of this is 0 if you take that remains to be 1 therefore 2 times log of 3 <coughs> then you have to write the next last step as the part of this uh, uh, value this becomes the case of failure once again you have to take the differentiation and this becomes <coughs> yp minus of <coughs> 1 divided by I am taking minus sign outside 9d minus 1 operating on sin 3x that is the first term and uh, second term is case of failure as you know that should be plus of 1 divided by d cube minus 3 d square second term is 0 and e to the power minus x and plus of 2 times it is log of 3 then here minus 9d minus 1 is there after taking minus then rationalize it minus of 9d plus 1 divided by 9 square it is d square and then minus 1 square it is sin of 3x this is to be operated on sin of 3x then x a is equal to minus 1 therefore minus 1 by sorry plus of 1 by 3 because you are replacing that d by minus 1 whole square means plus 1 
e to the power minus x plus 2 times it is log of 3 is there. Then finally, uh, this becomes 9d minus of and d square you are going to replace, replace that is by 3 square with the minus sign 9d plus 1 divided by uh, 81, 81 into minus 9, 81 into minus 9 because 3 square and minus 1, okay. This is a constant operating on sine 3x, right. And plus 1 by 3, that is 1 by 3 e to the power minus x plus 2 times of, it is log 3. This becomes minus sign here also minus, here also minus, then you can cancel that minus, that is 1 divided by 9 1s are 9, 9 8s are 72, this is plus, both are plus and uh, 72 means that this is 729 will become 730. Therefore, I can write this one as 730, 730 after cancelling minus sign from this and uh, 9d plus 1 that is 9 into 9 into cos 3x into 3 that is 3 cos 3x that is also with minus sign okay you write minus sign uh, and then plus of sin 3x right so this is multiplied for both this denominator plus 1 by 3 e to the power minus x plus of plus of 2 times it is log of 3. So, this is for particular integral. When this is particular integral that you have to uh, write as combination of uh, general uh, complementary function plus particular integral as the general solution. So, you can club this answer with the complementary function thereby you will declare it as general solution that is equal to yc plus yp. So, this is your general solution make that already I have given that uh, complementary function and this is your particular solution. So, with this I hope you understood uh, the part of uh, learning uh, from rule 2 that is uh, trigonometric function on the right side and exponential term on the right side these two are the things uh, from the non-homogeneous differential equation. I shall continue the next discussion in another lecture that is about polynomial term right side how uh, inverse differential operator is going to work. Thank you.